In a post-apocalyptic world, there is one patch of greenery with a glass house. A man enters the glass house property. Unfortunately he is immediately shot dead. In this world, there is a toxin that erases memories, so people have to be careful to not get infected. The girls wear a makeshift hazmat suit while they process the body. They decide to cut up the body and use it as compost for their garden. While B starts touching a flower, she recalls a time when a man was laying on the ground. They go to Gabe and tell him to stand back from the door since he's not wearing his mask. Daisy is the youngest one of the girls. She goes to mother and lets her know that they killed a man because he was trying to steal their peas. Daisy remembers her other brother named Luca, and hopes he returns to them soon. Later, a magazine is shown that shows their world had gone through a series of pandemics, include C-19. Their pandemic was called, The Shred. The mother makes them do a ritual over the bloody remains of the man they just killed. She says a prayer and says that they have created order in their glass house. They don't allow strangers into their glass house. Evie holds Gabe's hand and you can tell these two have some sort of relationship past being siblings. At night, B goes out to flash her light, signaling for Luca to come home soon. Instead, she finds a random man. B decides to drag him into the glass house in hopes he has information on Luca. However, Mother reprimands her for breaking the rules. Daisy recites their religion, which states that anyone under the sanctuary is now under their protection. Which technically means the man is now sacred. Mother uses scissors to open the man up. They see a huge gash on his legs. Mother decides this would be a good time to teach them how to stitch up a leg. When Mother goes in to tuck Gabe, she straps him to the bed. The next morning, he wakes up frustrated because he wet the bed. Gabe was exposed to the shred toxin when he was younger so his mind has been compromised. The girls help Gabe change the bed sheets for him. Then, Evie goes down on him, but not like that. Evie cleans him up using a rag. The girls wonder what happened to the stranger's leg but the man can't recall anything because of the, the shred virus. He doesn't even remember his name. He tells the girls that there is nothing much left in the outside world. Mother decides to not let him go, instead, she'll put him to work. At dinner, Gabe stares at the man with skepticism and worry. B decides this would be a good time to allow Gabe to touch the stranger so that they can prove to Gabe that the stranger is just like them. Later, Daisy wonders if the stranger has seen any animals out there. However, mother breaks the news to her that the animals are all dead. The stranger says there has been zero greenery other than the glass house. While chained up, the stranger does his daily chores that mother has forced him to do. The others are doing their chores as well. However, Daisy is having tea time with the dead man they composted the other day. B brings the stranger a plate of everything they grow. The way she stares at him seems like she wanna hop on his banana. Much later, Evie warns B about how trusting she is towards the stranger. B is smitten and lays all relaxed and in love. The next day, B is resealing the windows using glue. She explains the stained glass to the stranger, how each one is their story. One of them is a picture of Luca and B together. Turns out that Luca was their brother, but also it's implied that Luca was B's lover as well. At night, B gives the stranger a blanket because it's extra cold. The next day, while extracting beans from the pods, the stranger says he's been feeling lonely for a very long time. There isn't really anyone out there. The two stare at each other longing to fill that loneliness void. At night, the stranger wonders why Luca left. Luca was curious about the outside world and how many people are left. One day, Gabe catches the stranger with a knife. He shows Gabe he's just carving out a horse for Daisy. Gabe takes it from him and tries to piece the horses together but isn't able to. He gets frustrated and starts throwing things. Everyone hurries into the greenhouse and they try to stop Gabe. Daisy unshackles the stranger, then the stranger is the only one able to tackle Gabe down. At night, B strokes a bruise that she got from Gabe's tantrum. The stranger starts to tease B, then he admits that he is starting to love her, as a brother should. But in their world, they think brother and sister should be lovers. B thinks this stranger is Luca. The next day, B shows the stranger how to pollinate flowers. Then, he leaves to grab more seedlings. I want to be pollinated too. The stranger catches Evie playing with the box. She explains that they use it as a game. Everyone places something inside the box, and they see who would remember what was put in. B and Luca apparently used to win a lot because they would put the same things inside the box all the time. Later, the stranger goes to Evie while she's reading. 
He says he would like to help them because he's feeling useless with his healing leg. Mother interrupts him and says everything in the glass house has a purpose. Fruit needs to be plucked. And seeds need to be sown. She suggests that his purpose is not with Evie. She's suggesting the stranger sow his seeds inside B. At night, the stranger starts to tell a story. At the same time, Evie and him gaze at each other with great curiosity. The next day, the stranger gives B a strawberry. It's the same gift that Luca used to always give B. B starts to think the stranger is Luca. However, Evie says it's not him because B told the stranger that Luca always gifted her strawberries. Later that day, B is on lookout duty with her gun pointed at an approaching a man. The stranger goes to B and puts his finger inside her. This causes B to orgasm and shoot the man dead. Then, they prepare the man by skinning him and using him for compost. Later that day, Evie finds the stranger straddling B from behind. The stranger catches Evie staring at him, so she runs away. In the afternoon, the stranger goes to Evie and asks if she liked what she saw. Evie is mad and throws the knife at him, but he catches it. The stranger mocks her and says Evie can't take her eyes off of him. Evie says his tricks work on B, but not her. The stranger says it's probably because he chose B over Evie. Evie begs him not to mess with B's mind then she leaves. The stranger goes to the plants and discovers a hidden box. He unwraps the satchel that says Luca and opens it. He finds a charm with the letter L. The next day, Evie and the stranger stare at each other intently. B notices this and gets suspicious. The group is about to perform a ritual, but Evie says the ritual is sacred and they shouldn't invite the stranger to be here. So the stranger whips out the charm with the letter L. Daisy smiles as she thinks the stranger is Luca and he's finally come home. Evie isn't fooled and says Gabe doesn't even trust this stranger. She says that they're not sure if the stranger may have attacked Luca and stolen it. Evie claims that she remembers what Luca looks like, and it's not this stranger. However, the stranger rebuts and says what if her memories are wrong. Daisy and B wonders why Evie can't just let things go and just let the stranger be Luca. Mother interrupts them and says Evie is just trying to protect the family. She had hoped B would have been the one to protect the family since she's now the oldest one. B says if Evie was so good at protecting the family, then Gabe wouldn't have turned out like this. She calls Evie a creepy jealous peeping Tom. Evie storms out. At dinner, Evie doesn't leave her room for dinner. Gabe is uneasy around the stranger. B tells the stranger that Evie isn't ever capable of finding happiness. She supposedly has always been jealous of B and her relationship with Luca. At night, Evie goes to mother. Evie asks if mother trusts the stranger. Mother reassures her that she's always going to protect her kids. Once the stranger impregnates B, then the stranger will disappear. In the middle of the night, Gabe is annoyed on the bottom bunk because the stranger and B are going at it. Their bunk bed makes loud creaking noises. B thinks something is wrong so she stops riding him for a bit. What's that noise? While Evie is washing her underwear full of her period, B removes hers which is completely clear of blood. Indicating B might be pregnant. A couple of weeks later, mother hints that B might be pregnant. This makes her super excited and happy. However, mother tells her that the glass house can only sustain so much life under their roof. Their plants won't be able to give as much oxygen so a sacrifice has to be made. B doesn't want to hear it. She doesn't want to give up the stranger. Mother asks her to choose someone to sacrifice. B leaves furious. A flashback happens of how Gabe lost his memories. He decided to leave the glass house without the proper mask. He ends up losing his mind. Evie feels bad because she thinks she's the one to blame for Gabe losing his mind. The stranger says it wasn't her fault. B interrupts them and says she has sentry duty. She brings the stranger to go out with her. B says she will run away with him. However, the stranger is adamant that he is Luca and he won't leave them again. Later, Gabe snuggles up to Evie. He slowly starts thrusting himself on her. Evie stops him and shows him how it's done. She gives him five finger excitement so they can avoid getting pregnant. In the middle of the night, Evie stands in the glass house. The stranger goes to her and says she shouldn't be forced to do those things with Gabe. Evie says Gabe deserves to be happy. The stranger says Evie deserves to be happy as well. The next day, the stranger makes Gabe jealous by complimenting Evie. Gabe says Evie loves him and not the stranger. Then the stranger says Gabe will never be the man that Evie needs. This frustrates Gabe and he throws a piece of wood at the stranger, but he breaks the glass instead. 
The girls hurry to seal the glass. Once everyone finds out that Gabe broke the glass, they're disappointed in him. The stranger acts like the hero of the day. Later, he suggests to Mother that maybe everyone will be happy if Gabe leaves the glass house. Mother isn't stupid though, she says Gabe was only angry around the stranger, and it's time for the stranger to leave. Later, Mother decides to shackle Gabe to his bed as she tucks him in. She's shocked to find the stranger standing there watching her. He says his name is Luca. The stranger decides to strangle Mother to death. He gives one last finishing blow to her face with a rock. Gabe wakes up in the middle of the night to see his dead mother. The stranger wonders what Gabe has done. Framing him, Gabe tackles the stranger and the girls walk in on this. They all think Gabe has done it. He's strapped to the bed again. Meanwhile, B is at a loss for words and doesn't believe Gabe would kill their own mother. Evie says B has already decided the truth for herself. Later, the stranger goes to Gabe's room and opens a window so that Gabe can lose his mind some more. Then, B starts to get flashbacks. She remembers shooting at a guy. She realizes that she had shot Luca. B was able to identify his L charm, so she removes his mask. She's devastated to see what she had done, so she removes her own mask. She cries uncontrollably, then buries Luca. B goes back to Evie and says she didn't know she had shot Luca dead. And Evie admits that she's known all these years. She says she was trying to protect B. B wants to erase her memory again. However, Evie doesn't agree to this. B tries to drag Evie with her to lose their memories together. The stranger saves Evie from getting dragged into the shred. B happily walks out. Then, the stranger tells Evie that she should let herself enjoy her life. Daisy interrupts them and gives them the bad news about Gabe. Gabe is completely void of his mind thanks to the stranger exposing Gabe to the shred. B then comes back with zero memories of the stranger. She says hello to him in a flirty way. Alone with the stranger, Evie says she now has to live with all these memories alone. The stranger says she won't have to be alone because he's here. He lifts her up and the two get it on. By the end of it, Evie is the new mother. She is now protecting her siblings of the depressing past. She is the one to decide what they remember. As they go around the room, the stranger claims himself as Luca. And the family all agree to never let a stranger in. By the end of it, B has chosen to be blissfully ignorant. She's pregnant now. The baby might survive, but eventually B's mind will be just like Gabe's if she continues to erase her memories. Later, Gabe finds dead bodies with the same letter crest charms. Indicating that they have all be cycled out. Evie narrates that she too will be replaced and someone else will act as mother. It's the natural order of things to be replaced. A stranger walks into their property. Luca isn't sure if he should shoot the man or not. He decides it's time for Gabe to go and this stranger to replace Gabe. He shoots Gabe dead. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.